G'day folks, this afternoon I've come bait fishing down here in one of my favourite holes on the Lower Ovens River. Cod season is still closed for a few more weeks, so I've done the right thing. I've left my lures at home and my cheese and my barty grubs, and I'm just fishing with worms as bait and light gear in the hope that I might pick up the elusive Ovens River yellow belly or catch a carp for a bit of fun. Right, yeah, now you might recognise this hole. I'll do a bit of cray fishing here off this bank. I came down here a few weeks ago. I don't know whether you saw the last video I made where I caught a yellow belly in the lower ovens river. This is where I come to first, but I couldn't fish here because when the water's a little bit higher, this clay bank is underwater and you can't get to the edge of the water. So now it's at a good level where I can fish right on the edge of the water and drop straight down into deep water. I haven't got a landing net or fish grips or anything, but what I have got is the other part of this clay ledge is still under a little bit of water. It's as slippery as buggery, but if I do catch a fish, I might be able to beach it there on the mud. Anyway, folks, this rod looks like it's in, but it's not. It's just dangling there, waiting for me to cast it in. I've got two rods, both with light line and a small hook and sinker, bunch of worms on each rod, and a Paternoster rig, which is my favourite rig to use on most occasions. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. Let's go and do it. Rightio, these rods are already rigged for my recent trip. This one's got the smaller sinker, so I'll put it on the downstream side. Bunch of worms, Pat Noster rig, rod number two. Just go out there, they don't need to go out far. Whoa, 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 the rod nearly got pulled in. <laughs> That's got a very much a Murray cod bite, I think. A little one. Yep, look at that. I was right. Very, that's a trout cod. Murray cod, trout cod, they both have a very similar bite and that's very hard. <laughs> they just about pull your rod in the drink. Wet my hand. Alright mate, look at that. Nice little trout cod with a bit of gill flare happening there which means he's a bit stressed. I'll quickly get the hook out. I couldn't unhook him in the water unfortunately. Oh, it's got a bit of lock jaw. Cod are notorious for this. He's only hooked in the corner of the lip. There we go. See ya buddy, nice little trout cod, but as soon as I put him in, his gills will settle down and he'll take off, you watch. When he realises, there he goes, when he realises that he's free, that is. <laughs> cod have, I won't say Murray cod because that wasn't a Murray cod, but all cod have a distinctive bite. I'll hold my, my rod up here in front of the camera. When you get a shrimp bite, it's tap tap, tap tap, tap tap, tap like that. Sometimes it'll go a bit harder. And sometimes you'll just see it moving a little bit because they're playing with it. But usually it's fast tap. Carp bite can be anything. Quite often it's a, just, a, just a constant sort of a pull before a heavy tug. But cod it's almost always bang, straight down. <laughs> you might get a little bit of a tap then bang. They hook themselves very, very easily. And the bite is always big. That little fish there, which was that long, Almost pulled the bloody rod out of the hot, out of the fork, sticking into the river. <laughs> anyway, folks, been here for an hour or so. It's taken me a while, but I've got one on the board. That was a lovely little trout cod. Well, yeah, now this is the tackle box that I take with me when I do this general sort of bait fishing. As you all know, I like to keep things simple. Look at this. That's it there. Just that small little tackle box, little Shakespeare, probably a three or four dollar job. It's got a couple of dozen sort of sinkers that size, bean sinkers, might be a couple of ball sinkers in there. And two or three dozen hooks, just small hooks about that big. There's a uh, strike tiger nymph in black and gold colour that I've probably taken off one of my other rods and needed somewhere to put it. And there's a little wild bait minnow which has probably ended up in there the same way. I've probably been out and about and just needed to put it somewhere so I've sat it in there. But that is my entire tackle box, that's all I've got with me. Just these sinkers and hooks. The rest of my gear that I bring with me is... I've got, looks like two punnets of worms, but one is almost empty, so I've got a new one there for if I run out. My phone, the little tackle box that I just run you through, my S gear that I sit on, it's got a couple of cold drinks in it, a pocket knife in case I catch a nice yellow belly or a red fin, my car keys, my asthma puffer, and in there just some spare GoPro batteries and a power pack to charge them, and that's it. So I travel very, very lightly. Uh, it's a dog. Oh, he's a bite, he's a bite. Take it, take it, take it. It's a bit carpy, this bite. It's carpish. It's carpish. Got him. Is it a carp? Or is it a carpish kind of a bite? It's fighting a bit like a yellow belly. That's a carp, I think. 
What is it? That's a Murray cod. Just finished telling you how cod have that uh, that distinctive yank and they don't just suck on it. So what did this one do? It done exactly what I just said that they don't do. <laughs> Usually they pull really hard. Mate, you've just made me look like a liar. But I'm going to get oh, whack. I'm going to get down on my stomach on this dirt and unhook you so that I don't have to lift you out of the water while the season's closed. Right. Right. Come on, buddy. Get the hook out and you're on your way. There you go, mate. Nice little Murray cod. See ya, buddy. <laughs> he bit exactly how I just said they don't bite. <laughs> I only just caught that little trout cod 10 minutes ago and I said, cod always just go whack. So what did this one do? He went, tap, tap. <laughs> I made a liar out of me. I went over to visit my dad last night and I said to him, dad, can you please tell me what a solar eclipse is? He said, no son. He's a bite, he's a bite, that's fish. That's a fish, that's a fish, got a lot of shrimp bites, but this is a fish, this one. Got him. What have I got? Is it a yellow belly? It's fighting like either a yellow or a cod. It hasn't got a carp bite. Please be a yellow belly. I'd be so excited if it is. It's another Murray cod. <laughs> uh, that, once again, that wasn't a real aggressive bite. Now, I said earlier about the cod having the hard bite, and two of them haven't done that since. It's actually not a very good day for fishing. Cod like nice hot weather and a high barometer and humidity. This is the opposite to all of that. We've got a cool southwesterly wind. In fact, it's so cold that I've not even had a single mosquito on me. So I wonder if that's why the bites haven't been as aggressive, just because the conditions aren't great. Mate, you've got that down a bit deep. Right. I'll lay down and probably get a face full of water again here in a second. Come on, buddy. Open wide. Alright. There you are. He's a bit deep down in the gills. I can see that. I've bitten through that line. He's still got the hook in him, but he will pass that through. See you, buddy. Off he goes. It's that bloody cold now, I half expecting an iceberg to come floating around the corner with a polar bear sitting on it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, it's almost rot in. This fish has got a bit more weight to it. Yeah, that definitely bit like a cod, I can tell you. <laughs> and that's why. Because it is a cod. And it's uh, quite a large, well, it's not large, but it's probably up around the uh, 55 centimetre mark. He's almost a mature fish. I just finished saying before. Oh, I don't know whether he'd be a spawning fish or not. If he is, he's probably in his first year of spawning. But I just think he might be a little bit under. Righto, mate. Come here, buddy. Gee whiz, he bit hard. He, just went, he had the more traditional Murray cod bite. I'm going to cop it. Ah, oh, he snapped the line. <laughs> he snapped the line and took off. I was so obsessed with unhooking him in the water that I was down on my hands and knees and I had the line in my hands like that. And as soon as he swam, because I was holding the line, the rod couldn't bend and absorb the, uh, the shock. Instead, it was just my hand and he went snap. <laughs> he got me. When he turned around and took off, his tail splashed water everywhere and I caught the drenching. <laughs> Got him. He's only very small. It is, it's the yellow belly. Can you believe it? It's actually not, it's a Macquarie perch. Look, it is a tiny, weeny little Macquarie perch. I'll be buggered. Hey, look at that. Fishers have been, uh, they've done a, they've been very successful in re-establishing a trout cod population in the Ovens River. And they've been working over the last few years to re-establish a Macquarie perch population as well. That's the first one that I've actually caught out of the Ovens River in my entire life. They were stocked way upstream from here, so it's good to know that they've moved down a little bit as well. That was my very first Macquarie perch 
on my home ground, the Ovens River. And that makes me extremely happy. What about now? This thing just keeps biting and I keep missing about this time. Got him. Very small. Is it another little macca? It absolutely is, you know. Can you believe it? Two weeny little Macquarie perch. Whoa, whoa, whoa my other rod's really getting pulled in the river here. Eh? <laughs> two, two rods, I've got two rods and two fish on. This one's a little bit bigger. He's got a yellow belly. Now this one's a, uh, a Murray Cod. Look at this. I've got a weeny little Murray Cod about 30 centimetres and a weeny little Macquarie perch. He's a little bit bigger than the last one. Now for those that don't know what a Macquarie perch is, it's an Australian native. It's very similar shape to a yellow belly, which is a golden perch. But the Macquarie perch get a lot darker, although when they're smaller, they tend to be silver. And they've got a big eye, like a big white eye. In fact, years ago they were often referred to as white eye. This is just nuts. Native fish everywhere. Haven't seen a single carp. That's, isn't that amazing? So many native fish. And not a single carp. Mate, you got locked or bad. Open, open wide. Come inside. You're unhooked. See ya, buddy. This is just absolutely, totally nuts. Absolutely insane. Two Macquarie perch, one trout cod and half a dozen Murray cod. All in just a few hours fishing. Wow. I was born just upstream at the Wangratta District Base Hospital in 1975. I've been fishing the Ovens River for over 40 years and I can honestly say that I've never seen it in as good a shape as it is right now. Macquarie perch, trout cod, murray cod. I've caught three different species of native fish today and I've had a great chance of catching a fourth one, that being a golden perch or yellow belly, which is what I was actually targeting. I haven't seen a carp, I haven't seen a redfin. I've never seen the native fishing so good here. I've never seen the fishing so good here. This is just absolutely amazing and the sort of fishing that dreams are made of to everybody involved with restoring the Ovens River from Arthur Ryler Institute scientists to Fisheries Victoria to the Northeast Catchment Management and re-snagging operations. You have all done an absolutely outstanding job because the river right now is the best that I've ever seen it. That's the sort of fishing that my great grandparents and great uncles told me that they experienced back in the 1920s. Thanks very much for watching everybody. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, why not give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you get an update next time I upload a video and hopefully I'll see you in that next video. Oh, look at that. Just while I was filming my closing scene, I've caught, what have I caught? A trout cod. Look at that, eh? While I was filming my closing scene, while I was filming my closing scene, I've caught another trout cod. So I've got two trout cod tonight. I think, I think, I could be wrong, but I think the tally is two trout cod. I think four or five Murray cod and two Macquarie perch. Absolutely unbelievable.